We grow a few different quince varieties, including the ornamental Chinese quince and the very delicious pineapple quince. Pineapple quince isn't a cross between a pineapple and a quince. It's a quince variety. Its flavour is said to have a hint of pineapple, but whether or not you detect that hint, pineapple quince is truly delicious. One of the ways I use pineapple quince is to make pineapple quince liqueur. Good morning everybody, it's liqueur making time and I'm just about to make some quince liqueur and you'll be able to see the makings of that here. So I've got my quinces, I've got the ones that got split in the rain, I've got my little jars all clean and fresh, plenty of vodka and some sugar. I'm chopping up some pineapple quince and removing the seeds. I've washed and chopped the quinces and put them in jars with the sugar and vodka. Hello in there. This is what you have to do to the, um, to the quince liqueur every couple of days. Shake it up. Hope that was fascinating. Shake it and shake it and shake it. And you just keep shaking it and shaking it and shaking it every two days for 14 days. And after 14 days, you shake it once a week for a month. And shake it and shake it and shake it and shake it and then you shake it be not that hard i just make it sound hard it's not really Before I filter the liqueur, I'm going to sterilise the bottles. I've got some water in the sink, pure clean water, and some sterilising 
sanitizer. Place the bottles in the sanitizing liquid. And allow them to partly fill up with the liquid. And give them a shake. And also make sure the bottle top goes in the liquid. This is a no rinse sanitizer. So fortunately, that's all the work I have to do. have to really concentrate while you're pouring it because you have to keep an eye on the level inside the bottle so you don't overfill and you also have to keep an eye on the level inside the funnel so you don't overfill that anyway one perfect pour that's done and all that remains is to seal it up we're getting down to the last dregs of the jar here so there's a lot of sediment at the bottom of the jar and it's going to take a lot longer to go through the butter muslin, but that's okay. You just have to be patient and we'll end up with a relatively clear liqueur because it's going through eight layers of butter muslin and there's quite a lot of sediment, so it takes quite a while to get through. So I've got a nice fresh piece of butter muslin, a funnel. This has got eight layers of butter muslin for better filtration or we'll fold it over each other and it's time now to filter the second lot of pineapple quince liqueur i like to sit the bottle in a little tray just in case there's any spillage and it gets caught in the little tray and you can reuse it, it doesn't get wasted. Done. And I've already labelled it and dated it. liqueur glass this is, it's the closest thing I've got at the moment just show you the color of the filtered liqueur it's still a bit cloudy but it's it's clearer than it was tastes gorgeous but the flavors will develop over time so keep this stored in a cool dark place and as the months go past, you'll find that the flavor develops and it becomes more and more delicious.